Amateur Night at the Apollo started in 1934. Uh, and I, I like to put it this way, before there was American Idol, uh, before there was Star Search, there was Amateur Night at the Apollo. It was created by an African-American man from Harlem, a very fine actor by the name of Ralph Cooper, who later on became one of my mentors. <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald was the very first female to win the competition. She was 16 years old. Uh, Ella was scheduled to actually come on to dance. She was studying dance, not singing. But the day of the show, they were rehearsing, and Ella saw these, these sister group, uh, dance group. I think they were the Edwards sisters. And they were rehearsing for the show. Ella immediately went to Ralph Cooper and says, Mr. Cooper, I changed my mind about dancing. Look at those girls, they're much better than me. I'm not gonna do it. He says, your name's on the program. We got you scheduled, get out there. She says, I'm not gonna dance. He says, fine, what else can you do? Let's go. She said, well, m my family and friends tell me I can sing a little bit. And he says, well, get out there and sing a song. And she started singing and my friend, she was so nervous because she wasn't a singer per se. And the more she sang, the more frightened she became until she went blank and she totally forgot the words. So you know what she did? She got creative and started doing something that we now call scatting. She went from my love for you, or whatever the song was, to skiddy bop, skiddy, skiddy pee, and that's how it started, man, by accident. And it just became uh, an art form. Bye. 